Dear Antonians, happy to come to you from the Department of Value Education. We are in a new setup, like a newsroom setup. We have a purpose. We are indeed happy to have Sir Frederick A. Lamare, the head of the Department of Zoology, and also the coordinator for an important task that we are here to introduce. We know as a higher education institution of the Don Bosco Solution Society and as the first institute of higher education in the world from the Don Bosco Higher Education Society, Sinanis stands as tall in the field of education. Its contribution that Sinanis has given especially to the state of Meghalaya, to the region in particular, and to the entire society is appreciated, is of praiseworthy. We are here to introduce to you, dear students, all three years, first, second, and third years, about an important process that we await in the coming year, 21. We know every education institution should be assessed accredited and graded so that quality and education are to the best given and received by students and faculty alike. In India, the higher education institutions are assessed, accredited by a government body under the UGC called the National Assessment and Accreditation Council NAC through a process. Sinanis College was first assessed and accredited back in 2000. That time we have the highest grade of that time called the five star grade. This grade or the process is valid for a period of five years. Then in the year 2009, we had the second stage of assessment and accreditation. Then we had a grade of 3.6, grade A, that was a grading of CGPA then. And the next after that was back in 2013, ending to 14. Then we had again a grade A and 3.14. Under the present system of assessment and accreditation, we are into a new process. Okay. So this is the fourth cycle. So we got an extension, actually we should have been back in 19, but having accredited with the highest grade down to three years, we went into a, we got an extension of two years. So we are due for 21, that is the next academic year. And dear students, this is a process where all of us are involved. Sir Frederick, who is the coordinator of this NAC entire process, there is an entire team working behind. You know? So, Sir will explain to you, dear students, it plays a very important role, all of us, management, the teaching staff, the support staff, the parents, the alumni, and you, most importantly, the students called the present Antonians. So, I will hand over the session to Sir Frederick, who will explain to us and we understand this process to the best. We are involved, as they say, when there is a NAC assessment and accreditation, everyone associated with the college, as they say, starting from the gate to the top, you know, all of us are involved and we contribute our, the way we communicate, the way we are involved, the way we contribute to the institution is going to be added to this entire process. So I'll hand over to Sir Frederick and I'm sure as Antonians we will all give our best foot forward and give our best so that our flag of Antonians fly high. Uh, Father Joby, thank you so much. And uh, dear students, uh, today I'll be talking to you about uh, a very important aspect of the NAG assessment and accreditation. And uh, the important aspect is directly related with uh, the student community in the college. And this is actually called as the Student Satisfaction Survey. Now, uh, what we will be seeing is this, that uh, the assessment and accreditation process of NAC is a very, very important exercise for the college. Now, the process of assessment and the accreditation is a mandatory uh, practice that every institution, higher institution, 
in the country has to go through. So this has been made mandatory for all institutions. Also, all UGC recognized institutes must apply for the NAC once they have been instituted after a period of more than a year. Now, this is also important to know that in today's scenario, if you do not have an accreditation, an institution will stop receiving financial aid from agencies like the UGC and also the, the RUSA grants, which are very important grants for, high, for institutes of higher learning. Now, the process of assessment and accreditation is important because it is an indication of the quality of education, the infrastructure, the research, the teaching and learning processes that happens in the college. So institutes which have high grades or which have been graded with uh, high grades like A++ or an A+, or an A, are most sought after institutes in the country. That's the reason why accreditation is very important. Now, what is the benefit of the NAC accreditation when it comes to the student's community? One important benefit is that uh, students can gauge the quality of education or infrastructure or the research output of an institute by looking at the grading that NAC has provided for that particular institution. For example, St. Anthony's College was graded way back in, two th in the year 2000. It was graded 5 star, which means that uh, not many institutes in the country were graded 5 star at that point of time, which was an indication of the kind of quality that uh, was that quality of education that was being given in the college. Today, we, are, we have been graded as uh, A grade with a CGPA of 3.14. Now, this is also a good grade for, for many colleges. Most colleges in the country are not placed within the A grade. So, therefore, if you go to an A grade institute, this is what is going to happen, which me it means that you are assured that the quality of education that you're going to get from those institutes which are placed A grade and above are going to be top class institutes in, in the country. Now, grades also determine the value of the degree which you will be getting at the end of three years, which means that in the industry or in, in the world when you leave the college, when you're going with a, with a certificate from a college with an A grade, and you go with a certificate from a C grade college, the recognition is the same, no doubt. But the value which, which those degrees will hold in terms of from which kind of institutions you're going from is going to add, is going to be of importance. Therefore, institutes which are graded with a higher value by the NAC definitely will have a, va a higher value for the degree which they are going to get when they pass out from the institute. Now, having said that much about the benefits, uh, I would like to talk a little bit about the grading system uh, that NAC has for institutions like colleges and universities. Today we have something like uh, institutes which are graded between 3.51 and 4, they are graded as A++. And these institutes are considered to be very good institutions. Now, there are also institutions which are graded below 3.51 that is between 3.26 and 3.5, and these are the A-plus institutions. These are also considered to be very good institutions, followed by institutions which are given grades between 3.01 and 3.25. We actually fall under this group at present. We are an A-grade institute, which means we have, because we have a CGPA of 3.14, we are an A-grade institute. And according to that, we, are, we also fall under the category of being very good institutes. Now, having said that, uh, what I can tell you is this, that the grading is very, very important for our college. So the reason why we're talking to you at this point of time about the, about the very aspect of, of assessment and accreditation is because for us, the accreditation is a very important aspect for, for the growth of the college. Now, when you look at the assessment and accreditation that is going to happen next year in 2021, we will find that the assessment and accreditation is actually a three-stage process. Now, in the three-stage process, it includes the preparation of the self-study report, which we will be pre preparing from the college, under which uh, NAC has uh, instructed us that we should prepare this report, taking into consideration seven criteria. The second is, the second process is to have a student satisfaction survey. Now the student satisfaction survey is where actually you come in. And the third is the
the peer team report. This is the report which will be written by a team which the NAG will be sending to the college who will come and verify for themselves whatever declaration that we have made in the SSR. So at this point I would like to talk in a little bit more of detail uh, the student satisfaction survey. Now the student satisfaction survey in according to the NAG assessment and accreditation manual carries about 60 points which is a lot of points in terms of in terms of the, the grading that will come when the grading is finally done. Now, so what is this uh, student satisfaction survey? Now, the student satisfaction survey is actually an assessment tool for assessing the satisfaction level of students regarding the teaching learning process that happens in the college. Now, the satisfaction of students is actually determined by certain points. For example, it's determined by the experience that students undergo in the college. Second is, it's also determined by the extent of the comfort feeling that students feel when they are in the college. That means how comfortable they are when they are in, in St. Anthony's College. That that's, is uh, what is going to determine the satisfaction level of students. Also, the satisfaction level of students will also be determined by the intellectual stimulus that students would experience in the teaching learning situations that are provided in the classroom and in this in this year it's in the online system. Now, so therefore what we can say is that student satisfaction is actually a direct indicator of the effectiveness of the teaching learning that happens in St. Anthony's College. That's the reason why the student satisfaction, uh, satisfaction survey is a very very important tool for us the college to understand and for NAC to also understand what happens in the college in terms of the teaching and learning. So, like I said, the Students Satisfaction Survey is an indicator of the internal processes of the college. It also helps NAC to form an opinion of the college. And then the peer team takes the SSS also very seriously. I said, one of the process is for the peer team to visit the college to verify facts in the college. Now, the SSS report that is going to be, uh, that they're going to get in their hands is going to help them to understand what exactly is happening in the college. So therefore, what, what is important is this. The college needs a good SSS report. That is, the college needs a good student satisfaction survey report. That's the reason why your role in the student satisfaction survey is very, very important. So what is the most important thing for students when it comes to the student satisfaction survey? There is only one very important point, and that is to participate in the student satisfaction survey. Now, how does this, how is the student satisfaction survey carried out? The student satisfaction survey is uh, actually carried out by the NAC itself. What they would do is that they will be sending a questionnaire which, which has 20 objective questions and one subjective question, which actually will be emailed to individual students' email ID. Now, what happens is this, this will happen during the time when the assessment uh, period is going to take place. So when st the moment students receive uh, this questionnaire from the NAC, the first thing that need, they need to do is that they need to inform the teachers of the department that they have received such a questionnaire from the NAC. And once they inform the departments, the teachers in charge in the departments will tell the students what they have to do. They are the ones that are going to assist them in terms of the the filling up of the student satisfaction survey. At this point of time, what I want to say is this, the teachers will assist you only in, in, in understanding, making you understand the questions that are being asked. The choice of what kind of, uh, what kind of experience you've had, that is going to be totally your choice. So you're going to make those answers, you're going to give those answers, you're going to make the choices. The teachers are not going to make those choices for you. So you have to understand the question properly and then only make the necessary choice. Now, the other important aspect about student satisfaction survey for the college is that if the response rate is low than the limit mentioned by the NAC, the metrics, that means the student satisfaction survey will not be taken into consideration for assessment, which means we are going to lose a straight 60 points for assessment, which is a huge amount of points. Therefore, dear students, once again I would like to request you, please take part in the student satisfaction survey. 
The second point I would like to uh, make is that the, the time period that we will, we will be given for filling up the student satisfaction survey is only one month. Therefore, we do not have that much time to, to delay when it comes to filling up the student satisfaction survey. Now, so what is going to happen is this. The 20 questions which will be given to you will be, you will, you will be asked to read those questions and then you're going to ask to give a response to those questions. Like I said, the teachers of your department will help you, will assist you in case you have doubts regarding any kind of questions or regarding the filling up of those questionnaires. So finally, before I end, I would like to say that for the NAC assessment and accreditation in the college, the student satisfaction survey is a very, very important activity, is a very, very important parameter for us to complete. The second point is that a positive student satisfaction survey report is going to bring good points for the college. And high points means good grades. And good ranking benefits the students and the staff and everyone in the college. And with that, I would like to say thank you for your patient listening. God bless. Uh, Sir Frederick, I have a doubt, I think maybe just as a student. Okay. Uh, first is, when are they expected to receive, maybe a college will take care of communicate to NAC their email address, student details, but when they can, when will they be and will, who will be? So maybe you can just clarify that. Uh, at, uh, in, at one point I did mention to you about the, the self-study report or the SSR. The self-study report is, is a report that is going to be prepared by the college and then that report is going to be submitted to the NAC. Once the NAC receives the report, they will acknowledge that they have received the report and then at that point of time, immediately a process called as the DVV process will take place. That's the time when they will also simultaneously send the email, uh, send the questionnaires for the SSS to your email IDs. So we will be intimating you when we have sent the SSR and when you will be expecting the SSS questionnaire in your email address. Thank you. Uh, maybe you can just say we have a teacher who is called a department coordinator for this entire NAC process. So right. I think the person will also yes. direct and guide. Actually every department will have a teacher in the department who will be in charge of the student satisfaction survey. Now that is the person or that is the faculty or teacher with whom you have to communicate once you get the email ID and he or she is going to communicate with you regarding the student satisfaction survey. Fine. Maybe just one more point, the selection choice, the random selection. Yes, uh, NAC is not going to send to everybody. They are going to randomly select uh, whatever number they feel is best and send to these students randomly. So uh, not all students are going to receive the email going to receive the questionnaires the email id but some select students will receive them and these are the students that have to talk or communicate with the teachers when this once they receive the email i think that's fine. that's fine yeah i think that's clear so why are we here are we to brainwash you no as sir said it very correctly with a positive no? we don't want prejudice or undue favor but positively involving and feeling that this is my college, this is our college, and together, what do we need? We need the highest grade, A++, nothing less. Okay, so once again, thank you so much, Sir Frederick. Thank you for and, and dear students, thank, thank you too. Yeah. Thanks to all of you. Evermore, better ever. God bless you. Thank you.